Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my everything morning shower routine when you just need to really be feeling, smelling good, exfoliate, shave, all of that. Before we get into today's video, I do just want to say thank you to Dipsy for sponsoring today's video. If you guys have never heard of Dipsy, it is an app that's full of hundreds of short, sexy audio stories that were designed by women for women. And if you're like me, you might be a little skeptical. But if y'all know me, you know I love listening to audiobooks and podcasts podcast and just having things played throughout the day and this is no different. The stories on here are actually so interesting and spicy and it's not only a good way to kind of like arouse yourself but it also gives me a lot of inspo for the bedroom and opens my mind up to things that I might be into that I never thought I was into before, okay? Another thing that I really like about Dipsy is they're just centered around self-care and they want to remind us to check in with ourselves before offering other people help, getting the rest that we need, asking for what we need, and saying yes to more things that make us feel good. So allow these stories to transport your mind into a world where you can relax and treat yourself and with the new content released every week, you can continue listening to your favorite stories again and again, but there will always be something new to explore. And for listeners of the show, Dipsy is offering an extended 30-day free trial when you go to dipsystories.com backslash McKenna Walker. That's 30 days of full access for free when you go to dipsystories.com slash McKenna Walker. Thank you again to Dipsy for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so getting straight into it. When I'm doing like my everything shower routine, the first thing that I like to do to just get it out of the way is wash my hair. So I start off by just wetting my hair and then I actually go in with conditioner first and I'm using the hydrating one by Pureology. This one is for color treated hair and my hair has been colored a couple times in the last year, but I really just like it because it has like peppermint and tea tree oil in it and it really like stimulates my scalp and it's just super hydrating and it makes my hair really easy to detangle. So I always condition my hair first and finger detangle it and then I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it out and then go in with my shampoo. I feel like when I condition my hair and detangle it first, I'm able to shampoo my hair a little bit better and then it doesn't also get like matted or tangled so i'm going in with the same shampoo as the conditioner it's the one from pureology i really like this one because it's super hydrating and moisturizing and it doesn't leave my hair feeling stripped so i'll apply it all over my head and then i'm just going to use my little scalp massager or shampoo brush whatever this is and <laughs> massage the shampoo in all over my scalp this just feels really good and i feel like it helps me to cleanse my scalp better than just using my hands and i like run it all down my hair and, and all of that so and yeah once that's done i'm just gonna go ahead and rinse the shampoo out of my hair and then after i shampoo i'll go back in with conditioner and i'll just let that sit for the rest of my shower and i'll just work it through my hair put it up in a little bun and kind of do like a mini deep conditioning treatment while i'm still in the shower all right now we're gonna get into body care so these products might look familiar to you and that's because they're that good like when i find stuff that i really like i just keep using it over and over and over again okay so i love the loom body wash as my base and specifically in the peony and rose scent to match this little routine that i have going on here so i'm gonna put on my exfoliating gloves and go in with my loom as my base cleanser just to get all of the dirt grime everything off of my body and then also exfoliate it, which is prepping for shaving. I'm also gonna make sure that I'm washing my feet as a part of my first cleanse. So I really like using these foot spongibles. You can get them at Ulta, Amazon, and I think that's it. And I'll link them for you guys. Everything will be linked in the description box below, but I love using these to wash my feet because you don't have to add any soap to them. They come with soap already in them. And then you just get them wet and scrub it up dub use them to clean your feet we love it okay and they're pink so they match the aesthetic once my whole body is clean and lightly exfoliated we're gonna go ahead and start shaving so i'm going in with the billy shaving cream and razor i've always wanted to try out billy's products so i decided to pick them up and we're gonna be testing them out basically in this video i'm gonna tell you guys what i think about them so the shaving cream has a lot a lot of slip to it so if you really like a lot of slip this is definitely the shaving cream for you the razor i also really really like i feel like it's sharp it has a lot of blades but it's also gentle because it has that little you know that little buffer pad thing that they we all know what i'm talking about that they put on the razor okay i personally really liked the razor for a women's razor i usually use men but this one did pretty good job and it's pink 
so I love that for me okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and shave my legs you guys will see me when I'm shaving I do like this up and down motion that I learned and it's actually basically a way to like push the hair out of the razor when you're shaving and it just makes it like a little bit quicker so you don't have to stop and rinse like every five seconds if that makes sense it looks scary wait it's not gonna cut you, I promise. Just try it. Make sure you do it with a shaving cream or a shower oil or something like that so that you don't cut yourself. And then once we're all nice and smooth, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my second body wash. Y'all know, if you know, I am currently obsessed with this Way Melrose body wash. This is like my third bottle of it. It smells so flipping good, okay? like. <laughs> I'm obsessed with it. So I'm just going to apply that to my loofah. Since I'm just doing my second cleanse, I'm not going to use an exfoliating washcloth or anything like that because we've already exfoliated with the gloves, we've shaved, and that would just be too harsh on my body. So I'm going in with the loofah and we're just going to clean up all the rest of the hair that we got off from shaving and then this body wash is just gonna make you smell really really good okay so after we rinse that off we're gonna go in with the matching body scrub I also love 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 this product now they are expensive so I will say if you're looking for one over the other I would do the scrub because it smells the same and it's sudsy so it's like a foaming scrub so you're still getting that like soap effect and the scrub or there's like a little dupe for this at Target it's the um it's the Rose Scrub by Raw Sugar, but it's not as exfoliating. It's more of like a polish. But anyways, both smell the exact same. I just like the Way one because it's a little bit deeper of an exfoliant. And it's always good to go back in and exfoliate after you shaved to help prevent ingrowns. And then this particular body scrub also is very moisturizing. So it just leaves my skin feeling really soft and then it smells amazing <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and rinse the scrub off and then the last thing that i do in the shower is i'm going to wash my lady bits area this is the one that i really really like it's from the l brand it's foaming it's sensitive no irritation but it also makes me feel really really clean down there and then once i get out of the shower i'm gonna go in with my body odor prevention little tips and trick i've talked about these a thousand times so i'm just kind of going over them real quickly do a little witch hazel swipe it in your butt in the creases of your thighs wherever you accumulate odor throughout the day and then i also like to go in with the ordinary glycolic acid underneath my armpits to help prevent odor and this will also help with ingrowns and razor bumps since i just shaved my armpits as well and then for body care we got to keep the scent theme going because the key to like smelling good is like layering your shower products and having similar scents but i also want to make sure that my body is hydrated so i like to go in with the necessary serum first because this just makes my body feel so soft and it just makes my skin plumped and hydrated and I have extremely dry skin, okay? So I'll go in with that first and then I'm going to go in with the Sol de Janeiro Floral Cream. I don't know the exact name of it, but girl, I'll link it for you in the description box, okay? <laughs> and I'm just going to take a little bit of this and then like melt it down in my hands, pat it onto my skin and rub it in because a little bit of it goes a long, long, long way. But it's gonna have you right, it's gonna have you smelling good. After I put the lotion all over my entire body, I'm gonna go in with the matching perfume. This is the Sol de Janeiro 68. I don't even know how to describe this smell. It just smells so good, y'all. Like, it smells so good. Like, I'm telling you, if you've watched any of my last, like, recent videos for the past, like, three months, I've been hooked on this specific combo. And then I just follow it up with the Burberry Her to kind of, like, make it a little bit more intense. And yeah, you gonna smell like a snack all day. Thank me later, okay, boo? And that's it for this video. I will see you in the next one.